Hey everybody, it's Eric, the Horror Man here, and welcome to my very first end of the month haul video. So this is the end of the month for the movies I bought throughout the month of September for DVDs and Blu-rays. I'll show the DVDs first, and then I'll show the Blu-rays. So without further ado, first DVD I bought is 90 Feet From Home. This is a drama movie with former wrestler Shawn Michaels and Eric Roberts. I thought the movie was not bad. It was alright. Uh, where a former Major League Baseball player returns to his home state of Texas to confront his abusive stepdad before he plans on killing him. So, 90 feet from home. Not too bad of a movie. <clears throat> Next is uh, Dead Sea. This movie was okay. Not really the, the greatest, but I've seen better. Next is uh, Appetites, where you got two killers. One is a cannibal, and the other who plays a guitar and just basically kills just for the hell of it, just for the fun of it. So you think they like the perfect match, but when they meet, they don't know that they're actually killers until there's like a showdown with these two. So Appetites was okay. I just wish that the movie could have ended a little bit better. Next is Girls, Guns, and Blood. This movie was actually not bad. It was very interesting. Even though you got adult film stars being the main characters. I did a review on this. So watch the review. And also watch the review on Blood, Bath, and Beyond as well. So Girls, Guns, and Blood. Not bad of a movie. That one's more of an action film than it is a horror. Next is... Charlie's Farm. I remember watching this one off of sci-fi and I thought this movie was actually very interesting. But it was actually nice to see the kills that I couldn't see when I watched this movie on sci-fi. So all the kills, very unique. Good blood, good gore. Tara Reed looking good as always. So Charlie's Farm, very fun movie. Alright, Blu-rays. I bought a Blu-ray copy of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I also bought the Blu-ray copies of Ted and Ted 2. Next is Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Then I also bought Deep Blue Sea 2. And Deep Blue Sea 3. I thought Deep Blue Sea was actually not bad. It was it was good. I liked it. A couple movies from Vestron Video. I did a review on this one. Shivers. I thought this movie was interesting. A little bit different, but not too bad. And Little Monsters. I've never actually seen or heard of this movie when I was a kid growing up. But I watched the review on Blood, Bath, and Beyond. And this movie's more of a dark kids movie. Because you got kids that actually swear in this. Saying like, shit, bitch. And I thought Howie Mandel did a very good job playing Maurice the monster. So, very glad to have those two in my collection. Next, I bought the Blu-ray copies of Sharknado. Sharknado 2. Sharknado 3. Sharknado 4. Sharknado 5. And... Sharknado 6. Yes, as you can tell, you see a little pattern. I decided to work on some of my Shark movies. Next, I did a review on this one. And I thought this movie was very interesting. And I was just like, wow. And that's a uh, bus party to hell. This movie was actually a very, very fun movie to watch. It was very uh, interesting. It, where... People on a bus heading to Las Vegas to see a show. Their bus breaks down in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere. 
and they're being terrorized by a group of cannibal cultists that are looking for a sacrifice. I thought Tara Reed was looking good in this one as always. A lot of good looking girls in that one. Showing off the goods. Especially Devony Penn. Whew, what a what a hottie she is. So, bus party to hell. Very fun movie. And last, for my haul, I bought the, the two disc edition of Big Trouble in Little China. This movie is more of an action comedy than it is horror. With the Kurt Russell in it, where he plays a a wise cracking tough talking trucker who helps his uh, friend get back his uh, girl after she's been kidnapped and they battle a 2000 year old ghost from Marion and his friend's girl because she's got green eyes so he's looking to become flesh again by marrying a woman who's got green eyes so big trouble in little china very fun classic action movie yeah some parts are pretty funny, especially with Kurt Russell firing off a gun and chunks of the roof fall off and clunks him in the head until he, and he's like laid out for a little bit. So, Big Trouble in Little China, very fun movie. Alright guys, so that's it for my haul for the month of September. I didn't want to take up too much time because uh, whatever movies I show, pretty much almost everyone in America has heard or seen these movies. And I don't want to take up too much time. So if there's any movies you liked that you saw in this haul, please let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm actually going to try to do the 31 Days of Horror since my friend Matt has been doing it for quite some time. I'm actually going to try to see if I could do one of my own. So it's going to be a challenge, but I'll give it a try see how it is. So again... And if you like this haul, please let me know in the comments down below. If there's any movies you liked that looked interesting or good to you, please let me know. And again, sorry for going so fast because I don't want to take up too much time. So like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for some more videos. Later.